Hey, what is up guys? This is Sleet, and I finally found some time to provide some voice commentary this time instead of the usual uh, text inserts. In this video, I'm going to be running the Aspect to Poseidon at 32 heat, and this is going to be a cast build because it takes advantage of the flat plus 50% damage boost. And the cool thing about Poseidon is that you can actually dislodge the Bloodstones with your special, opening up some interesting builds depending on uh, which cast you decide to go with. Generally speaking, all of the different cast varieties do lodge except for Demeter, Dionysus, and Ares. Of the variety that do lodge, I think Athena might be the all-around best choice just because it has the highest damage output, plus you can shoot it from ranged as well as it being AoE. But here I decided to go with the Poseidon Floodshot, also AoE, has good damage, and I wanted to chase after the duo boon for the blizzard shot. So this is my default 32 heat setup, and I like to max extreme measures, benefits package, and force overtime, then play around with the rest as I see fit. One thing you'll notice that's different from my past 32 heat videos is that now I'm able to max tight deadline. Uh, after all the speed running I've been doing, five minutes now feels like plenty of time. I didn't get the flesh shot on the first try here, so I was completely debating whether to uh, just reset the game, but I did get it on the second time. If I rolled more than once, I think I w it's worth just resetting the game. Floodshot really excels at uh, hordes of enemies here just because it has a much larger AoE uh, size. So this is kind of perfect to showcase that. My thinking here is that I really want the Zeus boon and I, and I do eventually get, take it, but I probably should have taken the Chaos boon just for two reasons. One, getting through Tartarus faster via the tight deadline. And it, there are two helpful cast boons. Um, or upgrades that Chaos can give, I should have taken those. Uh, those two being Bloodstone increase as well as the um, cast damage up. So once you get it, definitely consult your codex because there are requirements to getting certain types of boons. Here I'm looking for the Sea Storm duo boon. Uh, so you want to make sure you get the right uh, prerequisites. One of the things I learned from all the speedrunning is when to use Meg, and this is one of those cases. This is one of the mini bosses where using Meg really, really shaves off your time. So, one thing you may not know is you can give these nectars to Boldy and he'll give you these uh, these random bonuses. Here I really lucked out. I got a cast bonus damage up for 9%. I think you can range anywhere between 2 to 10%. 
and I said I think I pretty much lucked out here in terms of the gods that were offered to me. So in a run, you're generally limited to four gods, excluding Hermes. Um, and the four gods I got were the ones that I wanted, especially, you know, which are Poseidon, obviously. You got uh, Zeus, and then Artemis, and finally Demeter, because Demeter, I'm, I'm seeking the duo boon here, the blizzard shot, so this is kind of perfect. One good habit that I picked up during speedrunning is to pause, and pausing will stop not only the in-game timer, but also the tight deadline timer. Definitely take advantage of this as you're going through your, your run here. So you might be tempted to get the hammer, I certainly was, but the hammer is not that important in a cast build. None of the sword hammers help with the cast very well, so that's why I decided just to go with the shot. Also, this is the earliest blizzard shot pickup that I've ever gotten. Uh, blizzard shot, a duo boon in Tartarus, that's, uh, that's rare. So the thing about blizzard shot is... Well, on the, f on the one hand, you lose the lodging ability, so you, you can't use your special to, to dislodge. They kind of go all over the place, which makes it a kind of an annoying thing. However, uh, they're really good on bosses because bosses do not get knocked back, technically. And so you can see the flood shot, um, or the blizzard shot now, damaging it multiple times and dealing for a huge amount of damage. That's how you can get into the several thousands if you upgrade it properly. Here I'm just checking to see that I got four gods uh, in my boon selection here. Normally in the keepsake selection I would try to, if I don't, didn't, don't have a certain god, I would force it here by taking that keepsake. Uh, in this case I'm just trying to figure out what's the best choice. Ultimately decided I'd just go ahead and get the Zeus keepsake so I can, you know, force another uh, Zeus Boon here, and, and also the increased rarity chance. But normally I, I would probably take the Palm upgrade or even the Zeus aid for the additional bonus if it were, especially if I were speedrunning. So as you can tell here, the blizzard shot's not the easiest uh, cast to use on certain enemies like these that jump around. 
all over the place. So I'm 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 kind of struggling here, trying to figure out what's the best way to. If you can get them into uh, near a wall, that's obviously the best because each of those uh, flood shots or the blizzard shots are going to hit for multiple times. They'll make push them into the wall uh, and do you know multiple instances of wall slams. But that's not always possible, so do the best you can. Note that in a given run, you are generally limited to two Hermes boons, maybe three if you're lucky. Um, and what I really want here is the Hermes Legendary, which will automatically bring back your casts uh, <clears throat> so you don't have to go run over and collect them. Note that you, to get that, you, there's a prerequisite. You have to get one of the cast-related uh, cast related boons from Hermes so that's what I'm looking for here I would like none of these A uh, quick tip about Eurydices, if you say take Ambrosia Delight and don't like what you end up getting, you can actually quit and come back to this part and uh, choose a different gift from her. Uh, that's just, you know, something you can do to minimize your stress over the random randomness there. Another quick note is that the boons you get from mini boss rooms are going to have increased rarity. So these are the best times to say roll for what you want, like in my case a duo boon uh, or you know just an epic version of something because again yeah the mini boss rooms will give you that additional rarity guaranteed. My point exactly. I hear something. My hello, Zagreus. Let's see who's Thanatos rooms. So Thanatos appears at most once in your run, and he can appear in any of the four biomes uh, here. You know, it's preferable that he comes out in the, in uh, Elysium just because those uh, levels can take a lot longer so you get save more time and what I mean by save more time is that as you can see the timer is stopped for his rooms the timer only starts beginning once you finish the room um, so it's really helpful for speed runs as well as tight deadline rooms like this
Gods. Stronger still. It's kind of funny I'm being presented with the same choice again, the hammer or the store. Just like with the Hermes boons, the game really wants you to have two hammers as well, so that's why it's going to keep presenting it to you like that. So Lerny the Bone Hydra is an interesting boss. Uh, it has different move sets, and the one that I hate the most is Ground Slam when it goes down like that. And you can tell which move set it's gonna do the main head or the subheads by their color. So if the color is actually this, you know, white blue color that you know that they're gonna do the ground slam so just make sure you steer clear of them uh if they're if they're the pink color then they're gonna do more of the, the ranged attacks So I pick up the Demeter Boon here just because of how difficult of uh, a time I had using the Blizzard Shot in Asphodel. Killing Freeze would be extremely helpful, so was, I'm trying to get that boon. Another day or night in paradise. Since I didn't get the prerequisite for the legendary Hermes cast boon, I'm just going to go with uh, Demeter here. So Hoarding Slash doesn't make sense here. Curse Slash, it sounds good, but that 60% hit to your HP is pretty huge. You know, when you get to Hades, especially Extreme Measures of War, you're going to need all the health you can get. And plus two health regeneration just, uh, at least for me, just doesn't keep up with how much damage I usually take. Also, it turns out Flurry Slash is pretty darn good, especially with the Lightning Zeus boon. So. I'm kind of happy with my choice here. Much better. 
If this were a speed run, it'd be a huge mistake to take Demeter over the shop here, but it's not. And I have plenty of time on my uh, tight deadline, so. Also, I got the better of the two variants for the mini bosses in Elysium, the other one being the, uh, the Minotaur mini boss. As you can see, if you use Meg, you can just take this boss down really quick. I will say, if you are going to take Curse Slash, Curse Slash paired with uh, Flurry Slash is the best. So I was very tempted to do that here, but again, going back to the 60% hit to the, the HP, didn't go with that. Piercing Wave with the plus 30 per Slash, along with the Lightning, thought would be really good uh, on hit damage there. My opinion on Dash Nova, skip it. So using Meg here is just a little bit tricky. What you want to do is press up a little bit, use Meg, stay still for just a half a second, and then it's going to come out just like that, perpendicular to you, and hit them both in a line. It might take a couple times to, to practice, but once you get it down, it's it should be intuitive.
This victory to you, Good Shade. It's a shame that I lost one of my death defiances in that battle because I am uh, not the most confident with extreme measures for Hades. In any case, it is time for a defensive keepsake. I prefer the Acorn at extreme measures level 4 just because. Each instance of damage can be easily, you know, 50 or more, so uh, it works out better than, say, the um, Cerberus or the, the Tooth Keepsake. For your first choice here, it's almost always best to go with one of the mini boss rooms, and that's marked by the little skull. And the reason for that being is that you can dispose of the mini boss much more quickly than any of the the other rooms where there's multiple enemies that spawn and this is especially true in speedrunning and in cases here where you have a tight deadline i have seven minutes on the clock so i'm not too worried but it is something to keep in mind So I wasn't able to get the Athena dash in this run because it didn't make the roster, Athena dash being a huge crutch for me. The alternative that I rely on here is the greatest reflex, which gives me with the plus one a triple dash, which will help me get out of uh, Hades' attack range much better and uh, will give me more frames of invulnerability. So. I thankfully got the the two sack and oh the cold fusion here is really good uh, if you can imagine how many times Hades attacks per second uh, he will that will be doing a lot of damage thankfully but anyway I do have only two death defiances and 120 health not a whole lot so I'm pretty worried here we'll see how it goes A uh, word of caution here, do not throw your blizzard shots out right now because what's going to happen is it's going to go past him and into that into that lake behind him and you won't be able to get it back for however long it takes to, to come back to you automatically which I think is around, I don't know, 15 seconds or so. Um, I've, I've learned this in previous runs so which is why I avoided that. I, what I do is I get behind him and throw it inward, landward. I will also say that the butterfly ball mini bosses that spawn here completely moot the 
thing I said earlier about the acorn being the best uh, keepsake choice because each of those butterflies will take away a charge of the acorn. So it's a little unlucky for me, but you know, it happens. Through this battle, I figured out that the best place to have uh, Hades positioned is one of these nooks in the map here, like right here and right below it. Uh, that way, he's right up against the wall and the blizzard shots can hit him multiple times and do a crap ton of damage. It's also a one of the two good hiding spots from Cerberus, the other being at the bottom right corner, so those are the two places you should try to run over to when you hear that Cerberus uh, roar. Okay, so starting from here, I think my heart rate just went up by threefold. Cause yeah, this is this is bad. So I get super lucky here, and as you can see here in super slow mo, uh, my damage protection, my built-in one. Uh, kicks in and saves me from that last damage instance. So now here I'm running for my life with five health left and I don't have any hope really to uh, survive. I'm like barely missing all of his projectiles by a frame or by pixels. Woohoo! Four students of Achilles. I feel that you surpassed even his skill by now. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate the recognition. Alright, well, there you have it, guys. Hope that video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one.